Okay, I'm going to show you the same type of thing using cosine or tangent. Um, so here, hitting my uh, second function or inverse button and cosine, 0 0.3907, um, out pops 67 degrees. Okay, on this side, if I have my second or inverse and tan of negative one button with 0.42447 there, out pops twenty three degrees. Now let's see what happens if we look for a reference angle with those two people. There's 67 degrees, and it is situated 67 degrees away from the x axis or the zero axis. Well, let's see what happens to the other side on the angle that is 67 degrees away from 180. Okay, so that would take me to um, 113. And if I take uh, the cosine of 113 here, you'll find that I end up with almost the same thing. I do get 0 0.3907, just like up there, but I have a negative sign in front. Okay. Let's look at this tangent one. Here's 23 degrees, roughly and it is situated 23 degrees away from 180. Well, over here, what's 23 degrees away from 180? The 157. Okay, let's see what happens when I take the tan of 157. Do I get 42447? Tan of 157. I do get 0.42447, but it is negative, not positive. Okay, so let's just look at these two uh, last three questions all together. If you have a sine, a cosine, or a tangent, they will, if they're in the first quadrant from 0 to 90 degrees, they will all end up being positive numbers. If you try to find the reference angle in the left hand side, you will find that there is another angle that also gives you a positive answer for sine. But for cosine and for tangent, these reference angles are negative, not positive. Okay? So the only, out of the three, sine, cosine, and tangent, uh, the only one that will give you uh, another angle somewhere between 90 and 180, that's what we call obtuse angles. Okay, these are acute angles. So if you're looking for an obtuse angle, there will only be one if you're dealing with sine and not cosine and tangent. Um, if you are working on a second angle of an equation.